Today's generation is all about the internet. Many people become viral overnight. Going viral means that your post has influenced or affected many people and gets shared over and over. Many viral videos are genuine while many are fake. Today we are looking at 5 viral people on social media and their stories. The story behind Sweet But Psycho Girl. You may seen this video on social media. This video is older than you think. This video was taken in 2013 in Guzman in court and went viral in TikTok 9 years later. The reason she was in court was she stabbed her mother Yun Mi Hoi more than 79 times on the upstairs floors of their home. At that time she was only 18 years old when she brutally murdered her mother. When she was a kid she had an extremely bad relationship with her mother, her family was poor, and her family couldn't afford many of the items she wanted. When she was only 5 years old her family got divorced and she lived with her mother. After a few years, her mother married another man. She had a bad relationship with her parents, but things got even worse when she issued death threats to her mother and stepdad, which were reported to the police. When the police came to their house they said, it wasn't necessary to arrest Isabella, since she promised she wouldn't do it again. But this decision was the worst decision of her family. On August 28, 2013, she brutally stabbed her mother and killed her. At the time of her arrest, she pleaded not guilty because of insanity. Her doctor found she was diagnosed with schizophrenia. Schizophrenia means it is a serious mental disorder in which people interpret reality abnormally which results in some combination of hallucinations, extremely disordered thinking, and delusions. She told investigations that her actions had been controlled by a voice inside of her head. The judge ordered she should stay at the state mental hospital until she is no longer a threat to herself or the community, which can be days or the rest of her life. In 2020, in an interview, she said I was not myself when I did that, I was abused at home by my family for many years. Street racing goes wrong. You may seen this viral video on social media. Many people don't know who is he and why is he in court. His name is Cameron Heron from Texas, United States. Now he is 24 years old. He made the headlines in May 2018 when he hit and killed a 24-year-old mother named Jessica Reisinger and a one-year-old daughter while doing street racing with his friend on Ford Mustang. The mother died on the spot while the daughter passed away a day later. At that time he was 18 years old. He was found guilty of vehicular homicide and unlawful racing. In April 2021, he was sentenced to 24 years in prison. An innocent one-year-old daughter and mother lost their life because of their entertainment. Sigma Judge vs. Rich Girl 18 years old Penelope Soto is from Miami and she got 30 days behind the bar after she showed her middle finger to the judge. However, she ended up spending only five days behind bars after she apologized to the judge, saying her behavior was irrational and fueled by Xanax and alcohol. It's worth money. Have you had any kind of drugs in the, in the last 24 hours? Actually, no. Actually, no? Bye bye. <laughs> Come back, ma'am. Come back. Come back. Give me the paper again. Come one would be ten thousand. Are you serious? I am serious. Adios. <gasps> Come back again. Come back again. Bring him back again. I believe I heard you saying to. Yes, I did. I'm not going to do it. I believe you. Did you say? Actually, I did. you say that? Yes, sir. I did. Oh, you did say that? I'm not I find you in direct criminal contempt. 30 days in the county jail. It was very irrational. And. I apologize not only to the court and you, but to my family. Don't cry. Just don't. Judge recognizes school friend. You may seen this video on social media, but many of us don't know why he is in court and who is he. 
His name is Arthur Booth, and he is 57 years old from Miami, United States. When he was a teenager he had a dream of a successful career and used to tell his friend and family he wanted to be an neurosurgeon. But he dropped out of school because he was addicted to drugs and did serial petty crime. He was charged with burglary and fleeing police and spent half his life behind bars. In 2015, he came into the spotlight when he appeared in court and the judge recognized him as her former classmate. Yes, ma'am. Did you go to Nautilus for middle school? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry oh, to see oh. you there. I always wondered what happened to you, sir. Oh my goodness. This, this is the nicest kid <laughs> in middle school. Oh my goodness. He was the best kid in middle school. I used to play football with him and all the kids. And look what has happened. I'm so sorry. To oh see my you. goodness. Mr. Booth, I hope you were able to change your ways. Good luck to you. <laughs> oh my goodness! Saved girlfriend from a burning building. This video is going viral on social media, saying, boyfriend saved his girlfriend from burning building, and after that she left her, due to dissatisfaction with his skin color and tone. This video is 100% true, but the narration is fake. This guy's name is Yuo Fanfan Fan from Shanghai, China. He said that his photo was misused and shared with false narratives on social media. Hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe.